day at the European Zero Cup and I met Elias who took a black wing over here for the demonstration. It's a carbon fiber plane with retractable gear and adjustable prop of course. It's one of the most interesting small planes right now. It's built in Eslöv, not far from away from Jungbehed. And Elias promised me a test ride in it. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, the Schöven Swing. Hello Elias. Welcome to the Black Moose 600. Thank Archie. you very much. Let's go. Uh, do you want? To, do you think the seat is okay? Because uh, we can lower it if you like. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. So uh, the hydraulics master switch in phone uh, A for startup. So uh, uh, the engine uh, will power itself with the battery separately from the avionics. Just gonna wait for the car to start up. Put on some uh, medium strobe lights. Perfect. Okay, go, show it. Put on, put on. take off this very fast plane. Acceleration is good, controls light and very responsive. Electrical trim and gear up, of course. Time for some pictures, of course. Two versions on the Blackwing available, the 600 RG with the 100 horsepower engine has a cruise speed of 150 knots. Also a stronger version, the, R uh, the Blackwing 635 RG with 145 horsepower. The cruise speed is impressive, 185 knots. Let's do some cloud surfing. Blackwing has a world record for speed in a straight line of around 385 kilometers per hour. This is very fast for such a small plane and fuel consumption is low so it's pretty economical to fly considering the fuel consumption. The price is high around 3.5 million Swedish or 350 thousand US dollars. I really like the controls and the instrumentation of course with two big flat screens. Beautiful handling. And we took some turns about the Jungbehead airfield. The Jungbehead Air, Air Base is where I started my pilot career in 1980 when I started flying for the Swedish Air Force. You can see the base here, two, two kilometer runways, and it was the Swedish Air Force main training base, actually the only training base. And we're taking a couple of turns down now, reducing the altitude. Speed is really high. I don't remember the V and E, but it's around 200 knots something. And here you can see the airbase. Part of the airbase is now a race track where I have raced my master. Of course, you can't resist a flyby because this day we had many visitors on the on the airfield that was uh, try to try yourself 
fly, flying day and there were many guests there so I had to show make a little show off <laughs> requesting a flyby tower was closed so it was not rejected and if you this is a very safe way to do to feel the speed of the plane uh, flyby is just awesome and here you can see the hangars of the old airbase to the right and also to the left the barracks where we slept or houses maybe also a golf course now so doing a little show off for the spectators we have around uh, 160 knots here or so not not too much need for speed and here you see the aero club to the left Okay, then up into the pattern for the landing. So it, it was a, it's an expensive plane, so I gave the controls to Elias, so he could do it. He's more used to it. This plane reminds of the dynamic. I will show a video from that one in a, a little bit later. I've just been checked out on it. This is a bit more luxurious with the electric trim and dual flat screens and a bit more exclusive things on it. But the response is very similar. It's a light plane, fast with a road accent. Elias reducing the speed and making a very beautiful touchdown. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Beacons off, master switch off. That's it. Simple as that. Thank you for the uh, flight, Elias. Thank you, guys. Beautiful. Great day for flying. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you have enjoyed the, to fly with us the Blackwing plane, manufactured in Eslo, not far away from here, on the other side of the Söderosa. Great. So, Then I come here. Oh, it's